Hello and welcome to Petals Productions. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some Halloween costumes for your American Girl doll. And specifically, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a unicorn one. Plus, there will be an American Girl stop motion at the end of this video showcasing all of the costumes my dolls will be wearing for Halloween. This video is for Kawaii AG's 100 subscriber contest. So now I'm going to make the top. So what I'm going to use is I have this long piece of fabric cut from the bottom of a pants that was too long on me. And it has already a nice top trim. And I'm going to measure it so it can fit around an American Girl doll or a Generation doll in this case. And then I'm going to decorate it. As you can see, I sewed the back part. And then now, all I need to do for the front part of the of the top is I'm going to use these pom-pom trim ribbons. And there are three yards of it. And I got this at my local thrift store for 50 cents. But actually, it is a dollar from the dollar spot at Target. So I saved 50 cents. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the yard the ribbon all around here to make it have pom-poms dangling from it. So I have it on Sophie and this is what it looks like. I really like it because it's kind of like a crop top and it has no sleeves and it stays on the doll really well. It's really snug and I love the little pom-poms at the end of the fringe and I was planning initially to put it all the way to the top, the same ribbon, but I think it would be too much in an overload so like a little on the bottom is really really cute. And I love how already the ribbon has like this nice design on it. And I really like it. So the tennis skirt does not really look nice with this top. So I'm going to use these shorts for the bottom. And I actually want to make a ballerina skirt with a tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next clip. So what I did was I measured a white ribbon along the waist of my doll. And then I sewed it shut right there like a little sewed and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two colors I'm doing purple and pink tulle because the top is already white so I don't need to use the white and what you have to do is you have to take it you have to take it's kind of hard to see so I'm going to double it right now so what you have to do is you have to take the length you want it to be on your doll so say if you want it to be at knee height you you take a length of the tulle to knee height and then you fold it and then you make it doubled so it's like two knee folds and then you cut that out and then I'll show you what to do next. So I did one off screen beforehand so it's easier to explain for me how to do it. So basically once you have the desired length of the tool, fold it in half so that you have a loop at one end and then place the loop on top of the ribbon where you want it to be it's like this and then it's kind of hard to show but what you have to do is the hole is right here right there and you have to take it you have to take the tool and try to put it in the hole so like let's see if I can do it it's kind of hard to do it on camera with a camera in front of me because I can't really see what I'm doing so like you see it kind of like here so then you pull it through like this that and that's what it looks like kind of it looks bad but then all you have to do is like keep pulling tighter and tighter while holding the side so it doesn't flip on you so I kind of fold it like this and then just like pull it and like that and like scoot it next to the one you just did so like that's how it should look and you will be needing to do lots and lots of layers of this but my doll will be wearing the white shorts that I showed you earlier underneath so it won't look as bad and one, well, sometimes this happens to me, like, one piece of tulle is longer than the other one. And so, if you like it uneven, that's fine. I don't mind it, so I like tuck it behind it. But if you want, you can cut it shorter. So maybe you can cut your tulle pieces ahead of time longer, so you, because you know that you're going to trim them at the end. But I don't mind. So that's what it looks like, and you have to keep doing that, and I'm alternating colors. And you can do whatever pattern you like, whatever colors you like. And this can be for a different outfit as well. This is the end result of the ballerina tutu. It is super, super poofy, and there are so many layers, and I'm surprised how big it turned out. And it, it looks really cute with this top, and it's like a nice contrast. And 
I had to put leggings underneath because then you would see through it just a little bit. And also, I kind of ran out at the end, so that's why I also need the pants because I ran out of tool. So if you guys want to make this craft at home, make sure you have a lot of tool ready or else you might have like half of a tutu instead of a whole one. So I'm lucky I had more than half, so at least it covers the front. So I kind of got ahead of myself and I already started to make the unicorn horn. And so what I did was I took plastic like this. It's like a bendable plastic. This is like an extra piece I cut off. So it's bendable plastic and I had like a rectangular sheet of it. And what I did was I rolled it into like a paper cone and did it multiple times until I got the desired shape where it's pointy and then it goes bigger on the end. And of course I cut it so it's even all around but like it was bigger on some sides than the others. And then what I did since it was see-through and I wanted a white horn but it was like gold on it so I found this perfect washi tape. And it has like gold and silver dots on it like sprinkles. And it's perfect because it matches the outfit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a headband out of some pipe cleaners. And I'll attach it on. So I'll show you how that works. So this is what the unicorn horn looks like. So I used a pipe cleaner, just a white regular pipe cleaner. And what I did was I bended it on the end and it would go into her hair so it stays in. And I did the same on the other side. And then what I did was I hot glued the unicorn horn on top is a bit flimsy but I might have to reinforce it if it breaks and it's really cute and later on if I find any I might add flowers along the rim to make it more colorful but for now I think it looks really cute and I'll show you a full look. This is the end result. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I have some white sneakers that I added the same washi tape as the unicorn on. Now on to the AGSM. <laughs> Hey guys, Gabriella here. So today I'm going to be showing you some different Halloween costumes that you can use on Halloween. Let's get started. The first Halloween costume that I'm walking down the runway with is Minnie Mouse. And I've had this dress for a really long time and it's velvety so it's really in style right now. Here's a twirl. And I know her colors are black and red but I think this dress is close enough. Samantha is dressed up as a 50s girl for Halloween. She is wearing Mary Ellen's poodle skirt set from American Girl. Here she's doing a twirl for you guys. And she is using a stand because she is such an old doll that her limbs are so loose that she cannot stand on her own. Caroline is a princess for Halloween and she is wearing an elegant dress that she came with when I got her from Christmas. Here's a twirl. And it is very silky and it's super pretty on her. For Halloween, Mary Grace's pumpkin pie. Get it? It's pie the mass symbol, not the actual food. I thought it was a pretty clever Halloween costume, and I found it on social media. Lainey is a gymnast for Halloween, and she won a silver Olympic medal. Right now, she is doing a cartwheel, which I horribly filmed because it's super hard to do in stop motion, so sorry if you can see my hands. I got her outfit from American Girl. Mary Ellen is a rock star for Halloween. Her outfit and guitar are both from American Girl and her outfit is retired. Wow, she just interrupted me to play guitar solo for you guys. Well, yes, that's okay. Bye, Mary Ellen. Sophie is a unicorn for Halloween and I showed you guys how to make this exact costume earlier on in this video. Fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Big fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Big fluffy unicorns. Kaya is wearing a mermaid costume that I completely handmade myself. She is also riding a motorcycle for a dramatic entrance. Her hair is in fishtail braids to relate to the costume. If you guys want me to make a video on how I made this costume, please comment down below. And here she is going to be struggling walking the rest of the runway. So here are all of the Halloween costumes that I showed you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a while to make because it's my first time ever making a stop motion. And my girls would like to say, Happy Halloween!